This video is about the Walters rotary dumper and the positioner I made from VEX robotics parts. One of the main things here is that there's very little clearance on either side of the dumper for these cars. But they made it about a quarter of an inch narrower on each end. I wouldn't have had to cut into the sides of the plastic there. I have switches on this side <coughs> and the other side to stop and activate the dumper. The power lines are not connected up yet, but the rails are soldered in. So uh, when I get all this taken apart and put back together again, I have a train running through here. There's a positioner here, and I'm thinking about having another positioner down here. What would happen is this positioner would move the cars, the locomotive would stop here, uncouple, and th this positioner would move the cars through until two cars got on this side, and then this positioner would start taking over. I'm going to have an uncoupler magnet on a hinge with a little pull string underneath here. So I can pull this and the uncoupler will come up and be able to uncouple the train if it's on this side. And I have one on this side doing the same thing with a little pull string to uncouple the train if it's on this side. One of the other things I've done here is I modified two two cars, put them back together to make a, a 72 foot wood chip car. That's Federal Paperboard Company. It's taken over by International Paper, but the main thing here is that they're 72 foot wood chip cars. 62 foot wood chip cars and with the parts that I had left over from cutting these apart I made little mini guns and they just work out to be the same length as a standard 62 foot. All of this is run by an Arduino and it's using a uh, little push buttons here. This would start the whole procedure and run it automatically. I have a little red button here. If anything goes wrong, I push the red button and everything just stops. It can also be used with this remote control and most of this is used in setting things up. Instead of running the whole thing automatically all the way through, I can raise or lower positioner arm, move the positioner back and forth, rotate the dumper, rotate it, rotate it back, and ro move and position this positioner arm. That's about what I'm working on now. I have enough coal car or wood chip cars to test out, see if these positioner will actually pull all these cars. I'm going to be loading them up with little chips so they have something to dump through and I have to have some kind of have a hole down here and I have to have a little bucket down there. The, the real future thing would have this on one level, dump through and then refill the cars on the other lower level with a conveyor. And that's about it for now. Uh, this is just all the words that were not said on the other video. So here we go.